<laughs> Why did you throw your puff wrapper in the toilet? Because what's wrong with <laughs> the that? The whole plastic wrapper was in the toilet. Oh no, I didn't throw it in the toilet. Well, the plastic case that it's in was in the trash next to it, but the whole plastic wrapper was in the water. Oh, that must have—I must have left it on the counter, and then it blew over to the <laughs> toilet. <laughs> I, was like, what? I was like, "This is different." <laughs> yeah, obviously, starting off the new year's hot. Happy New Year's! Happy New Year's! It's, it still feels like New Year. It feels like we just mm. like it feels like today is the third of January for some reason. Wait, oh, is it no. not the third of January? <laughs> it's, it's not the fourth. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It just feels like God. probably because it is. <laughs> this year is flying by. Oh, Dang, shit. your intuition is spot yeah, on. Yeah, woo. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the rest of my year is going to go. Um, I know we just did our first episode by ourselves. Yeah. Uh, for the new year. Glad you guys enjoyed that. I'm really. I was thinking about that for a while after we filmed it and it was just really nice. It was, I felt like my, I, I'm not talking shit Mariah about you not being there, but for some reason it was just really nice talking to like one <laughs> other person. <laughs> it was nice talk, talking to just one other person. It could have been anybody, honestly. Cause it was a deeper conversation yeah. that we had. It wasn't like a normal. Yeah. But not only that, but just like the one-on-one, -on -one, it was just like really nice. I, I, I just felt like I haven't talked to anybody one-on-one -on, -one on camera in a really <laughs> long time. So it just felt. It felt good. You know I felt like it felt, my head was clear. It felt like coffee talk in the truck. It felt yeah. like we were in big red. Yeah, except not smoking a ton of cigarettes and being violently hung over. Yeah. That's on our true. way to the gas station. We've upgraded. We have. We've changed. I'm dude, I, I we I we talk about this all the time, but I'm just so happy we looked so horrible. Yeah. The first seven years we of our only life. Had room of our for time here. I was looking at myself today, I was like, dang, I'm really healthy. And I, I almost got sad that like I just didn't do this. For the whole time I was ago. here. And then it just like hit me. And I was Damn. like, Zane, no, Zane, this is actually really good that you looked as bad as you possibly could have. Yeah. On camera for seven years. Mm -hmm. yeah, and so when you when you look better, you just looks like you've matured. It looks like you have your things together. Yeah. When it, in reality, I really don't. But it just looks like I do. What's really cool to me is the fact that I'll look at pictures from like seven years ago. And... I look younger now. So I, it doesn't make me feel bad. Yeah. Cause normally I feel like I would look back at a picture and be like, wow, I've aged a lot or man, I wish I was younger. Yeah. I feel good right now. Time is flying by mm -hmm. and it don't stop. And it don't stop. I, I remember my grandmother telling me like, what was it? Like 10 years ago, it was right before I moved out. She said, once you hit your twenties, you're 30. And once you're 30, you're 50. Like mm. that, get, like, and I just feel like, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm 20 years out from 50, but I just like, I can feel the 50 coming. It's so close and yeah, it's going to hit bizarre. us like a train, mm. but, I, but I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna look good for 50. You'll look like your dad. You'll look good. Yeah. I have the genetics, but he continued to stay healthy. So you're, you're going yeah, to, I, I need to, I need to figure out a way to just stay on top of it, you know, yeah. because he, he, my dad plays soccer a lot. He plays like every, every like few days. That's a he's, shame, on, he's on a team. He's um, keeps athletic, his body, so and I'm not athletic. <laughs> but I mean, I don't mind like working out in a gym as okay, yeah. part of my exercise. You know, it's not as fun as soccer, but because I can't kick a ball to save my life. I would go I'm, to say I'm, I'm, that I'm a you're, toe you're probably going to be benefiting more by being in a gym than you would just kicking the ball, yeah. other than cardio. But like, yeah. if you're lifting and you're like staying fit, you'll be good. You'll be good. But you know, my my time my time is almost done. I know for the for the uh, transformation. You're Getting very close, um, and I, I didn't, I, I didn't show my dad, or I didn't uh, show my dad my progress at all uh -huh. throughout the entire th uh, entire thing, and I showed him I was doing my posing classes for the yeah, yeah, for, yeah. The, for the for the Zila shoot that we're doing, and um, I did a posing class in Florida with at my mom's gym, uh -huh. and she just had it available, so I was like, oh yeah, sure, let me just hop in this, it'd be it'd be fun, and I filmed it everything, and. Um, I sent one of the poses to my dad on FaceTime. I was like, oh, Bubba, by the way, look. And I just sent it to him Yeah, because he has no idea what I look like. Like I, he hasn't seen me right. since before the transfer, before I started. He and freaked out. I Complete opposite. Oh. Complete opposite. <laughs> him, my stepmom, and I all go silent. Silent, right? Weird. And I was like, well, isn't that crazy? And the first thing he says is, 
Bubba, you don't. He calls me Bubba too. We call yeah, each other yeah. Bubba. Bubba. That's us. <laughs> he's like Bubba. You know, you don't need to do steroids and drugs to get to. Shut up! I swear on my life. My stepmom, she was like, "Well, you don't need to do these type of things to get." To have muscles. Wow, I would be flattered. I was Isn't that the greatest. I'd be so I was. Proud. I I was in shock, especially <laughs> my dad. My dad yeah. works out. He he has a great yeah, body. Yeah. So for it to be coming out of his mouth, I that's was. that's funny. Their brain first went to wow. saying you really shouldn't be doing. Which I which I which I understood. Whatever. Like they have it. It it, it was probably a shock because they didn't see me. Yeah, I yeah. didn't send them like progress pictures. It was just like to flat them, out. To them, it is... probably looked like it happened overnight. Exactly. Not realizing that you've been doing this for six months. Yeah. Didn't recently, didn't you send your dad another progress picture? And all he sent back was a was picture of himself. His abs. <laughs> <laughs> it was the same. He didn't like, say anything. I, it was like a, a certain, uh, like I, it was like a mirror picture, but I only sent him from my chin to yeah, my, yeah. Uh, to my waist. And he sent one just just like Didn't how I sent anything. it to him. That's Didn't say sent anything. Him a picture back. That's funny. <laughs> like, like, end. <laughs> yeah, we all had. Mind it, so. you, if somebody was looking over my shoulder, it just looks like two dudes uh, sending each other uh, yeah. partial nudes, which didn't make me feel very what, comfortable. You have to, you have to click it to open the folder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but when yeah. I got that, I was completely flattered that because was, I hadn't taken anything. That like was the that. best feeling when I finished Zila and posting like the TikTok and seeing all the comments that oh try anything is possible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I ate that shit up. I was like, give it to me. <laughs> it was the possible. it was the best feeling in the world. Like people don't understand that. Like you're really like you're spending hours a day on, because yeah. you're not filming everything, right? And people don't realize that you're just like, you spent a lot of time doing this. Yeah. Like the diet, all that is so important. And you know, people don't see that mm -hmm. until they watch the doc and then they'll see it. But still people are commenting that right. Like on the doc. Yeah. It's just crazy. Let that fuel you. And, baby. and honestly, I'm so glad you like, I feel like you motivated me to also do it. Like I would have not done it unnatural, but you like doing not, I didn't even take like amino. Acid. I didn't take anything that I was supposed to, also yeah. like the vitamins and all that. I don't, I, I usually don't take vitamins before I didn't take vitamins before. So, but I feel like it would have helped a lot. Just like when it comes to just my body flushing out shit that it needs to, but it was really I, nice doing it natural. Like yeah. you or the only thing that was unnatural that I did was the creatine. But I don't know if that's like so, considered like a, uh, I, an enhanced. I don't I, really know to, like too much about creatine. Like I know there is creatine in the Zila yeah. uh, pre-workout. So whatever's in that is like all that I had. Yeah. But I know you can take like additional like creatine supplements like on top of that. Yeah. Na um, it's a naturally occurring substance. But I. Oh, oh, natural. There you go. But I don't know because growing up, like my friends used to take creatine in like high school and. <laughs> Before the, class. Yeah. They, they would just tell me that it makes you retain a lot of like a lot of water weight. Yeah. So your muscles are inflated with water. So yeah. that you like look bigger, if that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know what happens to your body when you take creatine, but you have to drink a lot of water. Yeah. So, so it, I, is it because it like, uh, it dehydrates know. you or something like you, or, I, because, or creatine is like, or ugh, I don't want to sound stupid. I'm just going to end the conversation right there with creatine. creatine. Mm. I'm, I'm not here to speak on Honestly, that. Honestly, Zane, I'm very proud of you. Thank you. To see you like go through and Thank you. It. And I was really proud of you last year for kept keep, for continuing to go after I quit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, I felt like I let you down so bad. And I felt so guilty when I like quit. I felt like I let you down heavy. Yeah, it hurt. I just, I just wasn't ready. It's all right. I you just had, love you had, food. You had it's, to wait for your time. It's, it's, it's really, it's, this is, this is how I was seeing the, quitting the food. It's like quitting the vape. It's like you start, um, if you just start getting angry, right? When you, like when I leave the, like the vape down for like a few days, right? I just start getting angry yeah. and I feel like I'm about to relapse and I'm like my body just, I, that's how I felt about food. Mm. And it was just like practice to get through that, you, the, those months of just like <laughs> dieting like that. And then you're, you trick your body into thinking that healthy shit is like really bad for you. So you, when you enjoy the healthy stuff, it's like, oh yeah. And then you, the ice cream and like the really, really bad food just tastes so bad. Yeah. You get like used to different diets. Not, yeah. Not, it doesn't taste bad. Don't get me wrong. It still tastes amazing, but like it just how bad it makes <laughs> if it. If any desserts are out there watching. <laughs> yeah. I, I, still, I, I love Oreo. I love you, Oreo. <laughs> but when it's in my body after I digest, I genuinely feel yeah, you Horrible. feel how bad it is for you. Yeah, it's crazy. But I will say, as soon as you get over that first week of feeling yeah. bad, boy, 
<laughs> but I'm waiting for good. that. Oh, I'm waiting oh. for that. I can't wait to let myself oh. go. I can't wait. I'm a baby. I want to get fat with you again. Yo, that hey. was so fun. Oh, the Denny days, man. Zane, we get you fat. Know how, you know how people say um, food doesn't taste as good as like abs feel? Oh, lies. <laughs> lies. Oh, mm -mm. I don't care what there. I don't care what trainer tells you that nothing tastes as good as food does. Mm -hmm. And I know this is very, very unmotivating right <laughs> now, but nothing tastes, nothing feels as good as food tastes. Mm. And I've learned that we bo we're both here. We both had abs. That's right. We could tell you right now. Been there, done that. I, I'm glad that we get to go, and, like we're going to be able to have phases. Yeah. Like plan for it, you know? We'll be like Heath from like March 3rd to March 6th. Let's get crazy. <laughs> yeah, let's get crazy. Let's go to these restaurants. Let's eat this. And I'm, ex I'm excited to uh, enjoy food again with you. I, bigger people are happier. They're happier people. They really it's, are. I, I, boy, I was happy when I was big. <laughs> I really was. Now it's, now I just feel like I'm, thinking. I'm constantly thinking about it. I'm overthinking everything. It's like uh, Italians live the longest. People in Italy, they just eat, eat pasta. They feel good. They drink wine and they have longer life expectancies yep. because they're so carefree. Ain't that a bit? That's what I'm talking about, baby. Mm. Oh, we got to jump into the intro. And we're all, oh, this was oh. also a roller coaster of fucking. We're like 40 days. minutes. How long has it been? 16. <laughs> Woo! Long what the hell intro. of an Three intro, Longest intro of the year. Let's wow. go. We should do it at like 50 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, baby. <clears throat> it's coffee baby. baby. Let's freaking Yo! go, my dude. No cussing. No, no cussing this whole season. I'm going to change it up. Changing it up with the. Welcome back to Zany Heath Unfiltered. I'm Mariah. <laughs> Welcome back to Zany Heath Unfiltered. I'm Ooh, Zane. Skinny Queen. Yeah. I'm Heath. I'm Mariah. And Matt is still out of Matt, town, Matt, unfortunately. Matt is out of um, town. He actually comes in late, late tonight. And because this episode has to be edited and uh, edited and posted on the Patreon. And so, up early for Patreon. If it, you haven't uh, checked out our Patreon, make sure to do it. Patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. You get early access to all these episodes. Boom. You get a bonus episode every month. Boom. You get live Q and A's every month. <laughs> uh, and it's all $5 a month. Or right now we have a free trial. All you have to do is sign up and then you can start your free trial. See if you like it. Or and, if you, and if you don't like it, it's just too much, too much goodness mm. on the Patreon. Then you make sure to cancel it before the seven days is up. That's it, baby. Uh, It's been... I think One it's week been, since you looked. Didn't you? I think it's been a good positive 2024. I've been feeling really since we've good this started. year. I've been watching a lot of different videos on uh, of people talking about how like you need to like go of the all the negativity. But very very cliche stuff. Like okay. you know you know we hear it every year. Every year we hear let all that negative energy go. Just Breathe start in the fresh. good. Exhale the bad. Yeah. And I never really listened to those people when i i watch yeah. stuff like that it was never motivational for me i'm just like yeah yeah, yeah. but this time i really just took it in because i feel like it it was just important do you think it's because time. you you are ready for it and you're willing to accept good and put that behind i just think i just really need it for my mental health okay you know just like yeah. i feel there's just there's just so much going on up here i think mariah can attest to this mm -hmm. yes. there's just a lot going on up here and we i i also watch a lot about people Telling us that just in the end of the day, nobody cares. Nobody yeah. cares about what you're doing or or what videos you're posting. And every, there's there's just so much stuff out there. Just just post it or just just do it. Do just it. Just do it. Because in the end of the day, nobody gives a shit. No one's really thinking about you that. You're long. your own worst critic. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I believe that. So, Mariah, you heard that? More sign on mom TikToks. Um, break it out. You know, you know what I mean. We're I all, will, will, we're will, all, we're all waiting for it. She I mean, was, I sit, I'm vacation. sitting here refreshing, refreshing your fr was, your TikTok she was page. Down in Florida. She's in Florida. Exactly, she which is the vacation. perfect time for you to post some content, and we're not seeing it. I sound mm. like I sound like a like a stan. You sound like, like a, a crazy <laughs> fan. Yeah. <laughs> Come in. But yeah, I just want to say that. Also, uh, another. Another great start to our year this year is um, we got some big news. We got sponsored by Accelerator, oh, baby. Oh, again, for baby, the next in six the new months, year. Our favorite energy mm. drink in the entire world. It's a new year, and if you're like me, you're looking to get into a nice fitness routine to start off the year 2024, baby. So there's no better way to accelerate your fitness with our favorite zero sugar energy drink, Accelerator, baby. Mm -hmm. Baby, you know we've been drinking this this juice for like 
months. And I don't even know when we started, but Tropical from, Punch is bussin'. They got new flavors right now. They got Cherry Ice Pop and Tropical Punch. And I haven't tried it yet because I want to try it for the first time Bangin'. on the podcast. Bangin'. They sent this to me like a Ooh, week ago. And I've been dying. Oh, yeah, get the ASMR. Oh, never mind. Oh, I'm sorry. You like that? Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I looked right over. I was like, you like that? Cheers, baby. Cheers. All right. How was it? This is unbelievable. Okay. Um, Cherry is my favorite flavor in it for anything, for any type of candy, drink. Yes. Nope. <laughs> yes. Nailed it. No, look, I, in the best way possible, I love when cherry is so close to like cough medicine. Yeah. Yum. My favorite is cherry fake flavored, cherry yeah. and fake banana. Oh my. Banana, fake banana yeah. tastes nothing like bananas, but oh, it is it, the it best flavor Wait, in the do, world. Do, what do you mean? No. Yes, it banana does. Banana runts taste nothing like bananas. Ban it's because with banana uh -uh. runts. No. Runts don't taste like it. No, no. Every every single runt that is associated to their flavor tastes like that. Anything fake banana, it, it is a, it's a made up. That's flavor. a horrible example I'm, of a I'm banana dead, flavored I'm dead candy. Serious. Maybe say like Laffy Taffy. It doesn't taste like real bananas. Yeah, it does. No, it's you know what you're you know what you're eating, Heath. I think it's the smell of banana that you're like eating instead of the taste. You know what I mean? Because it, it it does smell like banana. If you open up a banana, it smells like it'll it. It'll smell it, like it. I think bananas are actually like artificial banana flavor is based on the original banana that like doesn't exist anymore. There's like a specific like okay bananas right. aren't the same as what they used to be. And it's a it's a different banana. Apparently, that's what it used to taste like. Who, who told you this? Where'd you where'd you I see this? I could be making it up. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> something felt like you were just coming no, up I'm with serious. this. Shit I, on I the think spot. I saw something like on uh, Food Network when my parents used to watch like how it's made. Okay. And banana runs are the best runs, obviously. That's yep. not, that what that it wasn't it, the argument. It says it in the article. Um, bananas you eat today are not your great granny's bananas. Um, Sounds sexual. If you bought bananas in the first half of the 20th century, it is likely you were buying the fatter, more flavorful cousin of the modern banana, the Gross Michael, a cultivar that was top banana in its day and comprised the vast majority of banana exports. Then along came the Panama disease, a fungus that has been uh, the bane of banana growers since the 1800s. It wiped out the gross michael of the planet from the 1960s as the fungus decimated crops a less popular less flavorful variety the cavendish was discovered to be resistant to the pathogen crops were quickly quickly replaced with this new fruit oh, and they're I still like eating I'm in it school today. let's go let's See, finish it up you, it's not the same but this is a different banana okay so right now the banana flavor is not banana flavor right now or it's, it's what the original bananas were so Before that you know they that got they became extinct got it okay you have all right eaten, yeah all right, all right. Look, I'll give it to you. That's banana. <laughs> <laughs> I love banana. I got to eat a banana every day. See, I every got day. that shit stored up here from when I was like 10 years old. You like bananas? <laughs> no, just random information no, like that. No, no, I'm saying, do you like bananas though? I hate them. I love Only bananas. banana flavor things. Banana flavors. Okay. Like strawberry banana smoothie. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not very I like, good. I lean more towards the strawberry. Okay. I'm a big strawberry banana freak. Mm. Freak. No, see- the banana throws me off. I don't I don't think I like the textures of bananas. Yeah. And apparently like the original banana used to have like big seeds in it. Oh, yeah. Look, okay, yeah. I, type type that gross Michael thing, whatever that is. I don't even think I'm pronouncing it right. Okay. Damn. Yo, somebody on the black market has to be selling these old school bananas. I would kill to try one of those. If it tastes like banana runts. Yeah, look at the inside. See how big those seeds are? Oh, wow. The what? Look at that. Wow. Okay, we're looking at pictures of bananas right now that have like giant seeds in them. Ooh. Ooh, that's freaking me out. I don't like that. The, yeah, there's a reason why we don't eat those anymore. I would like that. But anyways, <clears throat> accelerate. Guys, get it. There is no better way to accelerate your fitness than with our favorite energy drinks, baby. It's got zero sugar, sustained energy from natural caffeine, accelerates metabolism, and enhances focus. And it's all available on Amazon. We got a link in our description below. Make sure to go get some and then... Post and tag us. Let me know how you let us, let us know how you like it. But yeah, another thing about the new. Did you guys watch a New Year's ball at all? Just yeah, the, the that's all we did. We we literally stayed at my parents' house. I remember it being on every year, like for some reason, like at a party or anything. It would always be on 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 the TV. This year, you didn't watch it. This is the first year that I didn't watch the New Year's ball mm -hmm. drop. But um, I did learn some things about 
everybody that goes to the new, the uh, the ball dropping. Mm. Did you see that? Did you see that video? I was of thinking people about it wearing then, diapers, waiting there for about like sixteen yeah. hours. To, yeah, for what? And then you just he, soil yourself and sit in it because you can't take that off. And, and they're proud too. They're pr pulling out their diapers. Oh, I'm proud to be standing. That's wh what do you mean? It's disgusting. I just. Like it felt so like Hunger Games to me. <laughs> like, oh, he's coming out, everybody! Like the it's peasants the all waiting for the for like the um the, the king. It was, it's and just, we're the sorry people for, for like I just don't get it, and I'm sorry if I. It, that's cr it's just crazy to so wait for a ball where you could. It's not like a concert where like you're next to the artist or you're like <laughs> an arm's reach from the artist. I understand. That. Them, I get that. Them, it I get that. The ball is up all year round. You can see the ball. <laughs> is you it can really? See it from, you can see yeah. it from a three mile radius. Like the clo like the closer you get, Anytime it doesn't get any closer. You could go to Times Square at any time of the year and the ball's up there. That's, you can well, look I did at not it. know that. It's Soiling themselves. It like it's an iconic moment, but it's not worth it's it. It's embarrassing. My brother lives in Queens, which is right. It's a, <laughs> it's a borough right outside the city. He had the best view. He went to the rooftop of his apartment complex yeah. and he was able to hear and see like all the commotion from his apartment, which was like. That would be fun. It's like cool living, the, living, living in an apartment right there. Yeah. yeah. The camaraderie of everybody, like the fireworks and people going crazy. Yeah, oh, like seeing the, the people grab their, throwing their shit at each other down in the bottom. Oh, that'd be fun to watch. It's, it's just insane. not, I don't, I don't think it's worth it. And it's all people about, that live there or tourists. Like I'm, I think most, it's both. People that live there, they get out of there. Yeah. Like, I feel like. I feel like if you live there, you don't go there. I don't see like a, a local New Yorker being like, we gotta, we gotta get in there. No, you get out of there. And I heard like, there's no food being handed out. There's no alcohol, no water. I would not want to start my new year with a poopy diapy. Yeah. Like imagine like, sober. all the people kissing on New Year's had s just <laughs> shit <laughs> in their pants. And they're all like on each other. Like <laughs> I, I couldn't have a poopy diapy <laughs> and pick you up and give you a kiss for the new okay, year. Okay, yeah. all right. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, Shopify. Selling a little or selling a lot? <laughs> Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the, did we just hit a million order stage? Shopify is there to help you grow. And whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify has got you covered. And Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms. And you can sell more with less effort thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star. And if you didn't know, Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S., and Shopify is the global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's, Brooklyn, and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries. Plus, Shopify's award-winning help is there to support your success every step of the way because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. And another cool thing with Shopify is that you don't have to sell just your own stuff anymore. With Shopify Collective, you can curate products to sell from the brands you love, giving your customers more variety and your business more sales. So if you're ready to try out Shopify, you can sign up for a one dollar per month trial period at shopify.com slash unfiltered all lowercase again go to shopify.com slash unfiltered now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in one more time so you don't forget it shopify.com slash unfiltered thank you shopify for sponsoring today's episode we love you cha chang were you guys uh, were you guys getting married again pennsylvania or new, new jersey. jersey or new jersey I'm, in, uh, I'm invited to that right yeah, of course. Maybe. Okay. What'd you guys do for New Year's? <laughs> oh, wait, real quick. Did you see them interviewing that one guy on the news who was like talking about the whole fact that you have to like go to the bathroom in your pants? And he's like, I'm prepared. And he pulled out like a panty liner. Yeah. 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 But it was a panty liner. And all the comments like were girls like, just like, use wait. a maxi pad. Just wait until he realizes that shit ain't going to cut it. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> so funny. Oh, God. <clears throat> what'd, you guys, what'd you guys do for New Year's this year? We literally just. Stayed at my parents' house. Oh, no. Actually, it was pretty eventful. We saved a life. Did we? <laughs> you did? Yeah, we did. An animal. Oh, we did. That was on New Year's. That yes. was That was like a few hours before the ball dropped. That's right. We were on the way back from dinner, and Heath's parents live in the middle <laughs> of the mountains, so mm -hmm. the middle of nowhere, so there's no street lights, there's no houses. It's just all the way up the mountain, one street to their house. And we're driving up the mountain 
and we're probably like 15 minutes from the house. Yeah. And there's a dog in the middle of the street, like limping, walking back and forth and like clearly not aware of cars and just walking around. Like looked terrified. Minding his yeah. own business. Continue. <laughs> just leave it. Don't probably, tell me, probably don't tell me you scooped him up. Probably <laughs> drunk and having a good time. It's, it's New Year's. New Year's. <laughs> Poor thing. Oh my God. <laughs> He's trying to get home. He's just stumbling. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, we took his keys. Our savior. <laughs> <laughs> pulled them over. <laughs> we made a citizen's arrest on New Year's. <laughs> you need to leave animals alone. I, I, I can't. They they come to me. Come I'm on. sure Snow White. You should have seen you should have seen her trying to get him to the car. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> all we had were granola bars because we were worried another car was gonna come the other way. Yeah. And like I said, there's no lights. It's pitch black in the mountain. So there were cars coming, but we were calling the dog towards the car. But this dog is like gigantic, almost two hundred pounds. What kind of dog was it? I'll show you. Um, uh, the big fluffy it's one. A, it was a Great Pyrenees. Huge, Huge. ginormous. Huge. <laughs> it was like oh, so big. Zane, sopping wet, muddy, so wet. I felt bad, and it's freezing. It was like he didn't have a tag or anything. No. So there was a Whoa. collar, but no tag. And soaking wet, and it was like 20, 30 degrees out, like cold. So I felt bad. So, <laughs> so I felt bad, Sumi. <laughs> so we were giving him granola bars, and he's eating it. And then we're like, we got to we gotta take this dog because it's going it, to... It'll, di- it'll die. Yeah. It's going to get hit, and that's going to be it. So we open the truck door, and I lift this dog <laughs> into the car. I don't know how you did it. It was like one of those like mother strength. You know how we talked strength? about the yeah. mom strength? Uh-huh. That's... Zane, this dog was a lot heavier than me. It, a it, lot heavier. It was probably like <laughs> lifted this dog up, threw him in the car. And it's funny she did it with like <laughs> from the back end. Like I watched it happen. I was like, um. So we brought it to the house, but they have a dog, so they didn't want to like. They don't. Know, we don't just know this in case. Dog. Yeah, it's on the deck at first, and we give it some hot meals, and it's eating like it hasn't eaten in days. Like okay. loved the food, wanted more, more, more. Water, food, put out a blanket. <clears throat> Long story short, the dog ended up in the, in the house. We, oh, knew, we knew it was I happening. I thought you were about to say died. I'm like, oh my no. God. We knew it was happening. So th- it was like an hour before the ball, ball drops. And now we have the strange dog in the house. Just sitting there looking at us. Just sitting, looking at Aww. us. And she was so sweet. Because it was like abandoned. And we didn't know if the yeah, dog had been get out a for better, a week. Get or a better for- owner. <laughs> Mm. Don't lose track of your dog. I don't know. That's I'm true. just saying she ran away for a reason. That's true. Yeah. So then, um, <laughs> happy new year. Do happy- your parents, is your parents have a new dog? No. Well, they were anticipating having, having a new dog, but we posted it online on Facebook. Yeah. My mom's like, there's a Facebook page for people in this neighborhood. <laughs> oh, uh, really? I was yeah. like, I was like, I don't think somebody's going to see it. Like, because they live in, well, I guess if you live in a town of like 300 people. No, face, dude, <laughs> they're probably, Facebook yeah. is popping off in like yeah, middle America. Facebook, yeah. yeah. And like the you older ever, community. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's like, it's like they discovered TikTok. I was just discovering <laughs> yeah, TikTok. Yeah, yeah. It's like their Facebook for sure. Um, So we posted pictures and then the dog slept over. It was a great night into the new year surviving. And then 8 a.m. the next morning there was a call mm-hmm. and it was this guy's dog. And he was like, her name's Ruby. So we went over. We tested it. Yeah, we tested it. Responded to Ruby. It looked. And then he came to pick her up. She didn't seem crazy to see him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, she's probably old, right? Like seven months old. May. She was born. Oh. She was born Mother's Day. She was a baby. So the, do- the, the dog ran away from the owner? Like, wh- so I guess he said that she ran from the fireworks, which also doesn't make sense because she started running during the day. Because mm. it wasn't New Year's mm. yet. Liar. So he said the fireworks scared her mm. ran off how far was his uh, house zane, far zane it miles was far. it was miles and miles no way and it was in far. like a mountain and i felt now knowing she's a baby and she was soaking wet we thought so going up the mountain there's just guardrails on the side we thought maybe she hopped over the guardrail fell into like a river like because there's a creek so that bad. runs along the uh, she was probably she was probably so scared yeah and she was like limping but she ended up loving us. She did not mm. want to leave us. We were feeding her. We were treating her like a dog. It turns out she's a working dog. So she like herds animals and stuff like that. So she sleeps outside and it's just like sad. No, like, the owner deserves had... the gorilla team. Oh, he also Death. went to, he also went to pick her up and she like pity walked over to him. Like, yeah, I would too. Like, 
But if but, I just ran then, three <laughs> miles, but then Zane, she started running away she from took him. How would huh? away? And Good. Then he's running after her again. <laughs> like, Come on, Ruby. Good girl. <laughs> no, no, no. This is my dog. And now we're all questioning, like, is this really your? I dog? would have followed because they're expensive dogs, I guess. Right? Yeah, it's a it's a nice dog. Um. Yeah, she didn't seem too thrilled to see him, so I feel bad. So Ruby, if you're out there, oh, we love you, really Ruby. Sweet. She was so big, big ass dog. Like that. Did she smell really like dirty? Yeah, just she wet. Stunk. Yeah. So we saved a life. New Year's, no, did. no biggie. It's really cute. What else is new? For my New Year's, I my mom and little sister came into town for right. a few days. I actually went there for Christmas, and uh, we wait. Hold on. Did we record after Christmas? We did. Remember you guys came back or he came yeah, back for a I day? Yeah, because I flew back. My mom and little sister were here. Yeah, your sister was I'm on the get, Dude, I'm getting my whole week. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. Why do I feel like the last time we recorded, my mom and, and little sister weren't here? Yeah. Madison she, was on the unwind. She did the unwind. Woo! Oh, what? Jesus. 2020. Wow. Yeah. Something's going on. Something's happening. I need to get like a full brain scan. I swear to God, I need a like full brain scan. Like something's happening in here. <laughs> I think it there's I think there's tests that you could do. It ain't well good. that full body life scan, whatever it it's so called. Bad. Now everybody's posting that like anybody can just do it. Yeah. Oh my uh, chiro uh the chiropractor, I forgot his name, uh, Dr. Terry, he was telling me that I should get a brain scan with him. I just never did it. <laughs> I think he even saw it too. He he, he it, took he, he took five seconds to crack my back. He was like, we should scan your brain. <laughs> Not a part of his job at all. <laughs> we should set up a brain scan. Zane just, Does, I didn't ask. <laughs> oh, man. So me and my mom and little sister, we went to uh, just like a karaoke bar down the street mm -hmm. with Todd and Danielle. And, you know, we didn't go to any like big New Year's Eve parties. We didn't like go to any big house parties. Kinda nothing nice like not that. To. We just went to this karaoke bar and we just like had a good time it just it did not feel like new year's at all because you know we like we go to the bar when there's like honestly nothing else happening did anybody sing prince's 1999 mm. can you sing it for me we're gonna party like it's 1999 19. they say so. 2000 zero, zero party over oops no. Out of time. no 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 it was just like the normal like the, you know that mm. you know the typical karaoke songs that you like the Sweet Caroline yeah, and course, the course. um the Disney songs, a lot of Disney songs now. People, People love, love the Disney songs uh, in karaoke now. It's, it's a little quirky. It is, but I I see why people like to sing it. It gets the people going. It feels it it feels just enchanting. I don't know. I get it. I get it. Yeah. I personally wouldn't sing it, but I get it. Yeah, yeah. Me, I'd go more like straight for Eminem. There's only one Disney song that you could do at a karaoke that I would fully stand behind, and that's Mulan. We are the da, 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 we are men. You must da, da, be as a boy. That what that goes hard. Man. That goes hard. That whole movie was incredible. <laughs> did they ever make like a live action remake for that? They did for that for that bit. They did. I've never seen. Good. That. You've never seen the. What <laughs> other animated <laughs> movies have you not seen? That's like weird that you haven't seen yet. Probably all the Disney ones. That's why there's. <laughs> something, something off. I something knew there was. I knew was. something off. It's that. Hmm. I know I've seen. I know I looked at the TV when Lion King was on, but I don't know what it's about. <laughs> 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 and I know the Tarzan songs that I really like. Okay, but, but you've never seen Tarzan. But you I, just... I'm sh I think I have, but I think I'm confusing Tarzan and George the Jungle. Same thing. Jo oh, no, cool. it's, no, it's not. Oh. George, the Jungle, <laughs> George of the Jungle wasn't even like a live action of- George of the Jungle was real. Was just like its own world. We had that George was, of the uh, Jungle on VHS and I love- It was a good movie. That's the one with my one of my favorite actors. Don't oh. remember Brendan it, Fraser? No, I no, no, no. I'm talking about the, 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 the love interest. What's, uh, what's her name? Jane? What's her name? Uh, Judd Apatow's wife. Jud, Judd? G-U-D-D? -D? Yeah. What's his, what's his wife's name? I love how you said G, but put J correctly. App A P A. Oh God. Now no, no, no. Team. You had it right. J U D D. Oh. J U D D. Leslie, Leslie Mann. You like her? Oh, I love her. I've seen her. I talk about it all the time. I wish, like, I, I want my wife to be just like that. Her, her personality, her character. She's a great actress. Manifest it. I will. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, BetterHelp. All right, guys. Let me ask you something. What? Think of the year twenty twenty four. You know what's already working for you. You know, what's what's the vibe? What, what we got going on this year, you know? So when we 
when we start the new year, we got to think uh, the opposite of new year, new you. You know what I mean? That's right. With the New Year's, we always get obsessed with how to change ourselves instead of just obsessed. expanding on what we're already doing right. Like maybe you finally organize one part of your space and you want to tackle another. Or maybe you're taking supplements every morning and now you want to actually eat breakfast too. Shh, period. Therapy helps you find your strengths so you can ditch the extreme resolutions and make changes that really stick. So if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online and it's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. <laughs> Convenient is right, baby. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge, baby. So if you're ready to celebrate the progress you've already made, all you got to do is visit BetterHelp.com slash Zane and Heath today, and you're going to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P.com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this podcast. We love you. But yeah, that's what that's all we did. And that was it. I didn't drink too much. I, I drank a little bit. I did. How did it feel? I broke. Um, it was fine. Like I drank like a good, like, you know, a decent amount. Not like, not like Zane 2021 yeah, yeah, yeah. New Year's Eve, but like, I definitely like, you know, enjoyed my night. Mm -hmm. I woke up next day. It was a little hungover, but like I stuck to my, my diet next day. And then I felt fine by the night. And then I got right back into it. I was really worried about this week. Like yeah. this weekend. Yeah. I was like, it's going to set me back like two weeks. I only have two weeks left, but I'm fine. Good. You got this. Your body, was, your body bounces back quick. Yeah. But that was it. And then my mom, my mom was crying so much this morning when she left. Was she? Yeah. And it wasn't because of me. It's the, it was really windy outside and she thought she was going to. Eyes were watering. Yeah. Pretty dry. Yeah. No, no. Like I, she was crying. She was crying. I was like, oh, mom. Oh, no. because she was scared for she, turbulence? Because it was so windy today. Oh, that's funny. She It was so windy today. And she was like, honey, I really don't want to fly today. And I was like, you'll be fine. And she was fine. No, no turbulence. Nice. It's weird. When it's really windy here, I swear, like, the plane just goes right through that wind, and then mm -hmm. you're fine by the time you're over the clouds. Yeah, you just got to get up over it. Yeah. Oh, talk about the guy that was supposed to be on our flight. I have the video. Supposed to be? What do you oh, mean? Oh, he was <laughs> not allowed to make it on. You saw a guy get escorted off? We saw a guy fight with cops before we got onto our flight. We were, we were boarding. Well, we saw this guy doing laps around us as we're, like, in the waiting area, and... We kept looking at him, and then all of a sudden, everybody started looking at him. He was all over the place. On the phone with, like, a rolly uh, luggage, but the half size one that, like, a, a pilot would use. You know, like, yeah. the little ones? I was like, that's our pilot. Um, but he's, like, <laughs> he's rolling it around, and he's on the phone. And have you... Do you remember Tekken? The, yes, all my, my, one of my favorite video games. Do you remember the the way like the old guy would move and he would he would be like this and then oh, he would, like the, the drunk guy? Yes. Yeah. Uh, he, I don't know. I don't remember his name, but he would he looked like that and he would catch himself before falling and then he'd be back this way and it was all over, Zane all over the place and he's talking on the phone. I'm like, there's no way he's even on the phone with somebody because he is just. The way he was talking, like Keith was like, he's, what's the word? Tweaking. He's tweaking. It was, I don't know. He's, <laughs> he's tweaking. tweaking. He's, he's a tweaking. Because um, I was like, oh, this guy's drunk. And Heath was like, no, I think he's on something. Because he was so all over the place talking to so many people on the phone. But remind me of that, like that one lady that were you next to me? Remember when we were just like, oh, like the lady that was just like tweaking and she was talking about like her ex-husband. Oh, no. She was just like a crazy lady. Oh, but okay. This guy was like bizarre oh you got this on camera of on course, candy baby. camera all right very good guys yeah. i had to do 0.5 because i didn't want to fully film so yeah. it's kind of hard to see but i need now, the visual thank you people then like just formed the circle waiting to get on the plane waiting to board and, and he was just standing in the circle pacing back and forth on the phone on the phone on the phone like this is what we see before the cops showed up hold on And this is like, oh, wow. this is probably his calmest. He was going back and forth, like yeah, across he, the entire thing before still. this. I'm, I'm sorry, girl, where's your zoom? I don't, I don't zoom. She, she didn't, she didn't want to like point it towards him. So she did like point it down with 0.5. Mm. Um, but now at this point, cops start coming back and forth, like watching him. So somebody obviously called um, or you think somebody working there? Like I saw think that. the front desk person called. Isn't it he crazy? Was obviously trying to get on our plane and the cops showed up and they were so calm. They, they stuck in that position. This one where they're holding on 
to like their invisible backpack <laughs> <laughs> and they're standing the there and they're just so calm. They're like, all right, how much have you had to drink tonight? And he pointed right to his nose and went one beer. <laughs> <laughs> like and the in cop, his face like aggressively the cop didn't even flinch he was like right <laughs> <laughs> and they were wow. and he was screaming and he was like i can't wait to get back to a liberal state it's crazy how people just don't care if they're on a no-fly list yeah it's it, uh, yeah I don't how think do you go was. into an airport <laughs> and just he's not he's not gonna be I don't think it's was, crazy i don't think he knew he was at the airport <laughs> The conversations yeah. were not making sense. You know how hard your life would be <laughs> if you're just on a no fly list? That would suck. I would feel like that's the way of feeling uh, like a, a ref would get giving somebody a red card. Yeah. Would be the same as like somebody at TSA giving out a no fly card. Yeah. Like I would be, I would raise it up as soon as like somebody starts mouthing off. Get him out. He was manic. Was this in, was this at LAX or was this uh, uh That Tennessee? was in Dallas. Texas. Texas. Great airport. Oh, yeah. It, 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 I think all, oh all airports in Texas, I think, yeah. are amazing. It, all the designer stores. I was like, I'm going to freaking go shopping. I don't know. Freaking get it an apartment like a, here. I'm going to get an like apartment. Mall. I'm going to pay rent. Oh, speaking of mall, did you see what's going on in uh, Florida a couple days ago? Someone got mauled? Face ripped off. Ripped off. Bath salt. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> not again! Well, what happened in in, in Florida, Miami? Yes, oh, of course. So of everybody course. was posting about it, but nobody's really talking about it. Like nobody knows the actual like full story. Okay. But people were recording from their balconies, and there is sixty cop cars rolled up along the street, and they were blaming it on like some issue with like kids, and okay. people are like, "This doesn't make any sense because oh shit." 60 cop cars is absolutely absurd. Yeah, it's a lot. It's like almost like the president is. Look at the streets completely lined with cop cars. That's okay. gotta be every cop Wait, in the, Miami. Where is that exactly? Uh, it was like an outdoor like shopping mall. I forget the name of it. Jordan, do you remember yeah, what the that, mall was called? Bayside. Bayside. Yeah, that looks like there's about 10 active shooters in the mall. Like right. that, that, That's an there, insane shot. There was shot. a response like this for an active shooter, yeah. but they were saying it was like a scuffle with kids. And then people no. started come at, coming out that were in this area saying that they saw like 10 foot giants. And like there Wait, was like a what? whole bunch of like weird, people were like, no, something is super suspicious about this whole thing. And there's they kept saying like people were seeing like giant aliens. And that's why this response was so extreme. Well, oh, my. But like. Wait, can we see like a. There's like no news footage. Apparently the kids were uh, shooting off fireworks. Uh, what? So it went from fireworks to. I don't know. It's just really funny that people are coming out saying that they saw giants. And that's all we got? There, yeah. Th there's not much about it, which is so weird. We, I just need to know why there were 60 <laughs> cops. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. <laughs> that's a real picture <laughs> that somebody took outside of the mall. <laughs> he, that that's really that's wild. annoying. I don't know. Like, what What was it? Apparently, it's kids with fireworks. In, our, in our hometown? I, d I don't know. That's a, It's a crazy response. And no, it, like, there is there any footage of like somebody that was there that not that I've seen? No, they're taking it off the internet. Thanks for fucking teasing me. I know, appreciate it. I'm really rooting for giant aliens. <laughs> I, I, you want you want that to happen so bad. Oof. You just want some like outer like just force to like just shake come down, up. shake it, shake shit up, shake it up. Did, La you hear, did you hear last time I said that COVID happens? Yeah, I know. Uh, did you hear about the um? Did you hear about the new the new law that they're putting in place in California? A cop, when they stop you, they are not the first, you, you know, the first thing a cop tells you when you get stopped, like the first question, Do you know why I pulled you over. Yeah. They're not allowed to ask that question. The, as the first thing uh, to ask you when they stop you. It's, it's also a pretty stupid, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. And, and people are saying like, well, yeah, why would you answer that? But I think. What are they trying to like get you to admit to something? Yeah, exactly. It's almost like it, it's it, entrapment. It, it's all, yeah, it's all, it's always been like a funny question because it's like you're already treating the driver as like a five-year-old do you know yeah. as like not an like as not a respectable citizen of the it's either i say yes and uh, like admit to a crime or i yeah. say no and you're gonna tell me anyway so let's just cut yeah the shit. speed it up here yeah or or they're just like they're leaving it open for like a lie for or for you to say something that other than why they actually pulled you over it mm. but yeah i thought it was really interesting and i do like that they're not allowed to say now that. i want to get pulled over to see if they and record it 
It's almost <laughs> lawsuit. Get some money. I wonder, what, like, if they could get in trouble if they say that. Yeah, like if you're probably like fined, right? That's got to be Just hard like to be a cop and adapt to new laws when you're so used to something. It like mm. comes, it's almost like you're on autopilot and you're just saying things like you can get in trouble for this. It's like if they do it, they it, it, like a, like Chick-fil-A, if they don't say my pleasure, you get like a free meal. Is that what, is that what it is? <laughs> is, is, that so, what it I, is? I think they have like, to, right? By law. No, that was, that's has, a myth. I, I, is, <laughs> I feel like that's been something. Or like or Dairy, the, Dairy Queen upside down. down. <laughs> Wait, no, the, they don't do that anymore though. No, Dairy Queen, if they don't serve it to you upside down, you get it for free. <laughs> but you, do you really want to be that guy that's like, uh, 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 just. <laughs> but why even come up with like a rule like that? You're just, you're just leaving so much possibility just to like have fuck ups everywhere. Like mm -hmm. all, imagine all the locations, just one day that machine just wasn't the coldest. Uh, 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 uh. I did see something else that they, uh, well, that they, they just unbanned in California. Um, it's what did they call it? It's like cruising. California unbans cruising. Yeah, I saw that with with old cars. Yeah. What do you mean cruising? Like <laughs> they do it in Whittier. prohibiting low rider bans and anti cruising ordinances across California. So people that have low rider cars and just old cars, apparently they weren't allowed to go on like cruises, like just up and down the street, just like that lifestyle of being like. What? The, that makes no sense. Yeah, like a low low rider community. They do it a lot in Whittier, California. Yeah, they have really cool ones. They just did that now. They just they made this un un unbanned. Oh, they unbanned it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Um, oh, Mariah, did, you edited the last episode. <laughs> I was like, did, did I tell you I was gonna quit biting my nails for New Year's? Yeah. But you, you saw it already. How's it going? Not good. I chewed off a lot of my middle finger today, but um. I'm gonna, I need to buy, I was gonna buy the, um, a lot of people suggested a certain brand in the comments. I was gonna get that. Um, and that was gonna be the first thing I started was the nail biting. The the no vaping I was gonna start after my journey's done. My fitness okay. is over. Nice. But I wanted to start with the nails. This, I really like, this will be crazy to me. Like seeing my nails fully grown. I just don't think it's ever gonna grow fully they will. again. They'll come back. I don't think so Heath, because I've it's been so long so since I've been biting them, I think when they do finally, like if I do let them grow for the next like two years, I think it's going to just have this like permanent. You know what? And my, my, my grandpa, he has something. It's his, uh, his middle finger. He calls it the claw. I'm going to have, and it claws. terrorized me when I was a child, he would be like, it's the claw. It's going to get you. Um, but when he was younger, something happened and he split his nail in half. Like, That's really weird. He something, thinks something hit it and it split the nail down the middle. Yeah. And, for his entire life, it's never healed back into one nail. He has two nails with the split. Oh, down the middle. Know, I don't know how that happens because usually it like grows from the base. Yeah. But something happened where it's it's two nails with a cut down the middle of it. Like kind of sick. Like a claw. It's pretty cool. Um, Scary, I though. thought you were saying the top of his finger got chopped because uh, it's weird because my stepdad's finger also got chopped. Oh, by, his uh, got chopped? Yeah, it was from like the... Um, I think he was saying it was the bike, like the bike, the, the workout bike. Oh, it was, what? It was, I, I, I think, I think it was that I remember him saying how, it, how it happened. Like a Peloton. But yeah. It was something like that where it, like, it just, it chopped his finger off. So now he has pretty much his finger looks like all my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like all my Damn. fingers. Um, but yeah, I thought that's what you're about to say. I was like, that's mm. really weird. Have you seen those saws that'll stop sawing if it yeah. touches your finger? Wait, wait, like they test it out with like hot dogs and stuff. it'll stop sawing. Yes, as soon you're talking as like it, the electric saw. Yes, like a like a full blown like skill saw. It has like a sensor in it where if it touches like meat, I don't know how it works, but it immediately sucks the saw into like the base of it. And it's um, so but it still fast. has to like a, yeah, like a table. You saw. know, it's so crazy. I don't know how you have this technology where it would know and be able to stop it that quickly. What? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? There's no way. Wow. How? How do you know if it detects a finger though? Maybe just hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and the consequence <laughs> the consequence is not bad. No, it's it not. It's not bad at all. It was just like a little friggin' <laughs> It only works for hot dogs. <laughs> 
Have they tried? I mean, they have to try an actual finger right, for this to that's work. That's what I'm saying. And not but only one test. finger, many fingers. Yeah, many. We need a, we need real tests in order. Like you can't expect people to buy you this. Can't put that out and claim that unless you've run your finger into it. exactly. Like this guy, whoever whoever's the founder. I need to see a full video of him use putting his finger. Would you do it for five hundred thousand to, to t test it? Me? Yeah. No. No way. That's crazy. Things invented in Los Angeles. <laughs> Eggs invented in Los Angeles. <laughs> <clears throat> we we should come up with a new uh, a new sandwich, like new sandwich, right? Like try. Different Did I really just guess that? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Like, put different shit together in a sandwich. But like, like there's it'd be completely be a, original. There's got to be a new peanut butter and jelly out there that hasn't been invented yeah. yet. That's going to blow people's mind and become a staple in like, every kid's house. Like BLT is a little off. I, they're amazing, but like who thought I of, can't get behind a BLT. Really? It's I like every, BLTs. It's missing the main Me, part yeah, of it. Yeah, it's, it, I mean, and he's just m more than bacon. You can't just, it's, it can't be just a bacon sandwich. It's, it's just, a, that's it's just a like, topping. It's like bones, no guts. Yeah. Exactly. A bacon, a bacon BLTs. is a topping. It's a, it's a, it's a, um, it's a seasoning. But who thought of that? Like, yeah, it's an accessory to the sandwich. You got to think of a sandwich like that with a nickname. BLT is cool. Mm. Like a BBL. club sandwich. Great sandwich. Great name. Club sandwich is the turkey ham lettuce tomato. With uh, three levels of bread. Right. With what? bacon, lettuce, tomato, turkey. Some people put ham. The club has a bread in the middle? Yeah, it's, it's a three tier. I never understood the... the, the, the the triple bread. I never no. understood that. Never understood that. It doesn't need it. It's a little excessive. It just doesn't need it. It's like a. It's like a. It's a Burger King Whopper. Yeah, I. I just don't. I just don't get it. It's kind of like a, a buy one get one fifty percent off. Do people think that they're getting like a like you get a, a sandwich just and a, a double a half. burger? Zane would come up with this: ham, <laughs> cheese, and Oreos. Oh my <laughs> god! What? <laughs> The thing is that the Oreo would really overpower everything else, but why do I feel like it would taste good? It's like, it, it I wouldn't mind it. Mm. If I had to eat, I wouldn't mind it. I definitely it. wouldn't mind it. I don't mind, as long as I like each individual ingredient, I don't mind it being together. Really? Yeah. I still stand by peanut butter pickle hot fry cream cheese. Yuck. Have you ever had ketchup and rice? <laughs> no way. Yum. No, you don't. It's, it, well, it's a Middle Eastern delight. Ketchup on white rice? Yeah. All my herbs out there, if you're listening, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like ketchup and rice. I thought he said all my herbs. <laughs> all my herbs. Yo, shout out my herbs. Ketchup on mac and cheese, though. Jail. Death. Yeah, that's wrong. Death. I knew a kid who used to put uh, mustard on his corn. <laughs> what? I don't know if he just yellow with yellow. I don't know if that's where his brain went, but... Uh, I guess it wouldn't be that weird. Mustard with corn. Are you, uh, actually, it wouldn't be that weird. No. I don't like mustard at all, but I feel like that could go pretty well together. Like roasted corn. Oh, yeah. You just like grill it. Up. I don't like, again, I don't like corn or mustard, but it sounds like something that would be good. There's not a condiment I don't like. Any sauce. sauce. Unless it's like a fish thing, but besides that. Tartar Any sauce? sauce? Sure. You like, hor like, uh, what's that? What's that? Horse radish? No, ho uh, not horse. Horse over years. It has an Worcestersh H in it. Worcestershire? Yes, that one. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah. You I like mean, that? I mean, I don't, like, I don't chew. You cook with it, though. Like, yeah, you don't. That, <clears throat> you, you put into things. You yeah. don't really. Oh, okay. It's not like an A1. I love A1 steak sauce. I haven't had I, A1 in. Woo! I wish I like like Ooh. sauce, like barbecue sauce, like steak, steak oh, saucy type. I, I love wish. sauce. They, it looks so good. But you know what I used smell? to do? A1 on burgers. Yeah, me too. Boy. We loved A1 in our house. No, but I'm, isn't that like frowned upon A1? If you put A1 on steak, it's kind of like... Oh, I love it. Oh, yum. You're like ruining the steak. It's a, it's like a, why would you do that type thing? Especially yeah. at a restaurant. I it's hate, like a... I hate... Like wrap, wrapping a Lamborghini. I hate the rules with food. Eat it how you like. I'm just saying that because I like my I like my steak burnt. Burnt with sauce on it. Yeah. Just, uh. Yeah, it's like a disrespectful thing, I guess, to like a chef. If yeah. you're ordering a nice steak... You're basically saying, I don't like the way it tastes. I'm going to put it in sauce. It's no. like, it's big with uh, sushi. Sushi, I get. Sushi is like, it's, like it's to use, prepared. To use um, uh, soy sauce is like, this was, that's I, I, you know, I never really like soy sauce with my sushi. I really like to enjoy the sushi on its own. I like mm -hmm. it for some reason. I think it's like the best way to eat sushi. 
Unless it's like that yum, the yum yum sauce, the, bitch. The I boy don't play all the Benihana sauces. Oh, I I I just want to like pour it like this, like on my body. Like, the, oh my god, <laughs> that's what you should do for the final shoot. Yum 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 sauce. yum sauce. <gasps> A Benihana shoot <laughs> <laughs> on the table. <laughs> He's cooking for the friends <laughs> for Zila. <laughs> you guys cooking all the fat that I lost. Oh my gosh, that's really good. You know what you should do for the amount of pounds of fat you lost? You should get those fake rubber, like one pound fat. Mm -hmm. Oh, and visually see. So you can visually like put that on a table like next to you. (laughs) You know what I mean? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Like a mold of it. Like if you lost thirty pounds of fat, yeah, have thirty. Like of those sitting next to you, you know the Ooh, you, that with mustard. You know the molding of my body, <laughs> of my old body that I just have. You, yeah, I should do one of like the fat that I lost. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, Factor. Baby, it's the new year. Mm-hmm. Like we've already said, you know, get started on your resolutions with Factor so you're ready for the new year. Factor's ready-to-eat meal delivery takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for the success in the new year. That's right. Skip the trips to the grocery store, prep work, and the cooking fatigue. Instead, get chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. With over 35 meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and more plus over 55 weekly add-ons you'll have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolutions forget frantic lunch preps and rush dinners factors two minute meals are your secret weapon in the new year fuel up fast with restaurant quality meals all delivered right to your doorstep and factor now offers loads of snack options like breakfast we got smoothies juices snacks and more to keep us going no matter what's the schedules Mm, skip the overpriced takeout Mm. trap Factor is cheaper and way more delicious than takeout. You're going to get chef-crafted recipes, restaurant-quality meals delivered right to your door. Oh, and get this, baby. If you need a special occasion meal, they got Gourmet Plus. Mm. The perfect solution if you're looking for fast, upscale options done easily. That's right, baby. Gourmet Plus. They're ready to heat and eat in just two <laughs> minutes, which means heat time and me- for you. Heat that meat and eat. <laughs> You know how it is, baby. Two minutes in heaven is better than one minute in heaven, baby. Baby, (laughs) Ciao. Anyways. So if you're ready to try out Factor, all you got to do is go to factormeals.com slash unfiltered50 and use code unfiltered50 and you're going to get 50% off. Again, that's code unfiltered50 at factormeals.com slash unfiltered50 to get what? 50% 50 off. off. Thank you very much, Factor, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you so much, and welcome to the Unfiltered family. (laughs) Did you see the video of the guy in court that attacked the judge? Bro, I thought it was fake. I was like, there's no way. Right, did you see it? There's no way. I did see it. Where the hell were the court officers? He flew. How do you allow that to happen? I don't understand how he even got there. How did he reach to that, to her... uh, just to her area in general. I yeah, like don't. that took a long time for him to get there. How did nobody grab him? And the amount of time that he was beating on the judge before they could get him off is absurd to me. Because that wasn't a court officer that first grabbed him, right? It lasted so long. And apparently he was verbally saying things to her before he even attacked. So that should have been the red flag. That so is- I only the only thing I saw was that clip. But what was he? What was he being charged for? Like I, I, I want to, I want to see what she was saying right before this happened. Like what he did and what the penalty. Yeah, was yeah. I just to 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 be able to act like this. I feel Imagine so he, bad. Got, he got he got he got uh, he got seventy two hours of community service. Nine misdemeanors, multiple DVs. Got a lot going on, sir. Redden saying he was working to turn his life around, but Judge Holthus denying his request for probation. I appreciate that, but I think it's time that he gets a taste of something else because I just can't with that history. In accordance with the laws of the state of Nevada, this court is Redden then leaping over the bench, landing on top of the judge and brawling oh, wow. with court officers and attorneys. Minutes later, Judge wow. Holthus is standing oh, that's Terrible. So scary. Whoa. Imagine what he would do to Judge Judy. Nice. I would personally go find him if he attacked <laughs> Judge Judy. Yeah. That is... Cr- oh, he's done. Yeah, that's, that's that? bad. I think I watched probably 50 episodes of Judge Judy while I was at my parents. She's so good. She's so she, smooth. I love her. 
She's the best. Does she? She doesn't do like big cases. She hers big, is very no, it's like small only claims. Very very small claims. She re- she's retired. She's got to be retired. I think she still does it. Why doesn't she do like bigger cases? Or is it because she's just, just not seen as just a personality more? It's just crazy. She's to me. 81. Wow. She looks great for 80. Yeah, she does. She's hot. <laughs> okay, easy. I would take her to pound on. I'm not going to lie. She's going to take you to court. Take me, uh, take me book, to court. Book me. Uh. Book me. 2021, she retired. Oh, she did. Oh, she could put good me for in fluffy her. handcuffs. After 25 years. She's so good. Because she's so fair and she's so funny. Oh. So basically, I, I think the way it works for her show... Her show flies those people out and like pays for everything. Oh, that's in order nice for it to be on TV. Oh, I'd commit some crimes to get in that get in that room. And I think so. Whatever like the decision is, she pays for from the show. So if the person owes somebody a thousand dollars at the end of like whatever the decision is, I think her show covers that for them coming on. Do they know that? Yeah. Oh, so. The fact that they both know that already, I feel like it kind of loses the authenticity of the case. No? No, because you're still, like, it's an actual trial. No, I understand that, but if their charges are being covered, why even stress in the courtroom? You know what I mean? Because if you feel like you you were wronged and somebody owes you $1,500, $3,000, and you don't win, you still, like, are technically losing... But like, say the other person isn't losing. Like, if I owed you three thousand dollars and I made the mistake, and Judge Judy covers it and pays you, you but you don't. I'm not out of my pocket, but you would still want to like win the case for your own sake of like. Interesting. That's so interesting. Yeah. How every person on that show that's on trial is just like I'm. The person I'm pretty who did, sure she pays for everything. And do you think people purposely try to? cause something to happen to get on her show i don't think so because it's all like they're, but tiny she, case, she, they're tiny cases yeah but like, she just she goes and searches for them it has to be in the city that it's happening in right no they're all over the united states oh yeah okay and they fly out to do the i thought show. i thought when it comes to that sort of stuff it has to be in the city for it to Mm-mm. be like Mm-mm. have you seen like i might be here for halloween actually. type type in judge judy net worth she, you don't understand how wealthy oh, she no, is. Oh, no, no, I know. I, she, I've, I've seen it before. I think we talked about it. $440 <laughs> million. Dollars. I'm so happy for her. I'd be smacking I, that gavel for the rest of my life. I 440 mil. Imagine how horrifying it would be if she was your mother. The way she interrogates these people. And oh, she yeah. can tell, like, if you're lying, if you're like, dude, she is so in your face aggressive with it. Imagine her just grilling you every time you got home. Imagine her, imagine her and Dr. Phil had a show. Both of them? Yeah. I'm not crazy about Dr. Phil. No, I, I'm not either, but I just feel like those are two personalities on a show doing uh-huh. things. <laughs> imagine just watching that. We watched, um, you know, Judge Caprio. He's the one, I think, Rhode Island. He's like the older Italian guy. He's got Maybe. cancer We right watched now. him a few times. Well, there's this Judge Frank Caprio. His cancer right now. He's really good. Pray for him. Um, He, a lot of his clips go viral on TikTok, but there was a trial of a guy who was explaining, I think he got like a speeding ticket or something, but they ended up talking. He likes to dig into people's lives and like how they grew up, like what's going on in their life. He just likes to have a personal connection with people. So this guy ended up saying that he, there was a movie called The Town with, what's his name? Uh, Mark. Mark Wahlberg uh, or ben, no ben Affleck. ben Affleck ben Affleck yeah um and the guy who the who got the speeding ticket that movie was about him and he just got out of prison for like 37 years yeah. for the bank robberies in wow. Boston so we saw that clip and we watched the movie this past week and it was such a good movie Wait, you've like, never seen the town before no. oh shit it's yeah cool, it's a great it's movie it's cooler seeing the real person that it's about yeah so it's got to be like one of my favorite movies right now yeah so good so we watched that. So I recommend the town. The town the or town. town? I think it's called Town. But yeah, uh, for Frank Caprio, his show is pretty cool too because people will donate and the judge will use those donations for people that he feels need like a second chance. Yeah. So he was basically uh, had speeding tickets or whatever that he the guy couldn't pay for. So he'll go, I believe you. I know you're trying your best to like get back on your feet. Be a better person. I know you can't afford this right now. Mm-hmm. So we have people that donate 
um, that I want to use towards this. Oh, nice. So he'll say, so-and-so donated $150 and wanted me to put it towards somebody that I believe in and I want to help out. I love that. So he... So he used the donation. Cool. Him. I mean, not cool that this guy, you know, robbed banks and shit, but like, no, you know what? Kind of cool. Kinda cool. But, but it's nice. It's kinda nice. Cool. He, he's flip. He's f- turning his life around and paid for his $150 ticket. I think that would be the most exhilarating thing in the world. A movie made about you. Robbing after a robbing, robbing a bank. Yeah, and, but, but then make, but then they made a movie about it. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, I've watched that shit what? every night. I'd be like, that's me. That's me. Look, yeah. Look. Right. And then you get to watch it with all your friends in prison. <laughs> what? what? Well, I'll Imagine be, that feeling I'll be, I'll be of flexing. robbing. And then Ben Affleck paid you. Why? Oh Come my on. God. I'd be like, run me my check. Where's my money? I just gave you a movie that made millions. Yeah. Of- I'm the hero. Crazy. Do you think you could pull it off? A, a bank robbery? That hey, imagine, I'd be so bad at it. Imagine that feeling of your heart just like, here we go, here we go. The you feeling would be, ma- oh, the feeling would be exhilarating. Absolutely. Like that feeling, I wish, I want that feeling every I day. I wish I could but, be in that role and not have to experience the aftermath. Like imagine you could go and rob a bank and know that obviously you're not. Nothing will be- happen to you, but this is just a, it's a simulation. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. But like, like I don't want you to tell me it's a simulation. I just want it to happen. Yeah. And then it's like a prank in the end. You're if on you, a show. You either get away with it or you get caught, but you know you're not going to do the time. Does that mean? Yeah. Because <laughs> like wa- robbing banks seems so far-fetched. It seems like it only happens in the movies. Yeah. yeah. That's not a very practical crime. I just, it's crazy how pop, like, I feel like I could have got away with it back in like the, the Western times. Yeah. Did Bonnie and Clyde do banks? I believe so. Bonnie and Clyde. Bubba, that could have been us. All right. Look, ch- check me out. Check <laughs> me out. Re- they were bad people, though. Check me out. This, Ima- guy, this guy's a good person. He just wanted a little Im- bit. He just wanted it. Imagine <laughs> this scene, right? Imagine me and you are playing a prank. Like, we're pranking Mariah, right? We have this whole production crew. Mm-hmm. We, we have it all set up, right? There's this bank out you know we're driving far out like three hours to go somewhere and we're like hey mariah can you stop the bank real quick i need to pull out cash but it's just like the fake bank yeah there's fake people on. going in fake people coming ac- extras everyone is actors and imagine we both are in there and she's just waiting for us out in the car you know and then we just run out with duffel bags of money cash just flying everywhere we get in the car drive drive and then now she like imagine that feeling that she would feel but it's all fake. Oh, and she's she's driving. You have to switch. You have to switch seats with her because she can't drive. And then she's just in the passenger. She's just like, no. I just, I just, I felt it. I saw us running out. Now everybody's yeah. dead. It's it and sucks that like, we we know, but like imagine it's exhilarating. Well, we, maybe flip it to you. You're the one that we're pranking, right? But like that feeling. Imagine being able to feel that, and then in the end, it's like a show. It's a prank. It would be. There was that one show that did a really good job with their pranks. Not Punk. L- Lance Rutan? That's him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I feel like that would be something good on there to do that, just to get that reaction. I'm so curious, though. I want to know if I could do it. There's no way. Do, Come wait, on. Like, actually, like rob a bank, like if you can get away with it. There's no way. I don't think you could. No. It's 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 much tougher than it's not in you your think. Blood. And also movies are Yeah. They just make it look so fun. Yeah. I wanna go You have in, to have like a psychological I want, issue. I wanna laser cut a vault door. Oh I wanna fucking oh, bank be ro- the, oh rob a bank like like Daniel Craig. Yeah, I or wanna or Tom Cruise. I wanna uh, yeah, do it the but, co- like the super spy like, way. Like now you see me. Yeah. Okay, so all good. right. So you see that's a different story. In my head, the 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 traditional go in hands up in the air put all the money in the bag and no then, I want and it then to escape. be I want to be super stealthy with it I want to I want to track somebody for months and get pictures of their eyeballs and get contacts made with the, with the same while your exact, buddies are in the van they have all this tech shit around them they're like all right, all right walk the, in right now head scanner. to your right I want that I want to drive an RC car through the AC ducts blow a hole on top of it enter from <laughs> I think they the three. Have- I think the three of us can make a really good team. I I think we all have something specific that we can offer in this. We couldn't do it on our own. No. But yeah. when you have a team like this, I'm thinking of us like Oceans Three. This we, like this this could work I, if and we wanted. Jordan Jordan's like the mule 
You know what I mean? Yeah, he's like the one that we're like, it's he's the he's the um <laughs> Yeah. He's the front facing man. Mm -hmm. Like no one's gonna question Jordan. Right. Like he walks in first, the distraction. distracts the, the distraction. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mariah's in the car with headset. She's got X ray on the building. But we're forgetting one person. Matt would not be good in this, so I'm taking Matt out of this. Matt's equation. calling the cops. Yeah, they're coming in. Yeah, oh, yeah. He, he just would. It's just what he would. I told him not to do it. He wouldn't work for this team. Like I, I, he would. He would get us caught easily. He would. Yeah. One person that I think would do really well with us is we need someone with just with just balls, right? Mm -hmm. In the end of the day, who's like kind of willing to get right in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. I think we have you, but. Someone who doesn't really not, care about I'm not their, crazy enough. Yeah. Todd, Todd, shotgun, butt to the head. I th I'm more like technical, like behind the, like kind of like setting up, mm -hmm. organizing, organized crime. Isn't it fun? Scheduling. Yeah. Scheduling. <laughs> Boy, you can't. What, what's, our call, what's our call time when we hit in the bank? <laughs> Zane, you're late. <laughs> oh, I thought it was tomorrow. <laughs> they should have an escape room but instead of escaping you're robbing so they let you do all those little things that you just said good the opposite of an escape room an enter like a like an enter yeah room. you got to oh. break into a home <laughs> that's a good idea like that i don't know why they don't make shit like that but do you think that's encouraging people to um like where you got to pick a lock to get into the house is it encouraging though like breaking in and robber uh, robbing people escape room is good right because escape rooms help you you're put in a bad situation you're put in a bad situation exactly right, right i guess you could apply the same principles but in reverse I you guess. know yeah or like you have to save somebody from inside yeah you could you could spin it in a positive way you're stealing some the money for to feed your kids there's a hostage situation inside of a house yes and you got to break in to get the hostage oh i would do that i could do that uh, yeah yeah <laughs> yeah easy <laughs> you could save the hostage yeah Hostage rescue. <laughs> Mom, someone's at the door. We don't deserve this channel. We don't. We um, don't deserve this. I'm glad we did it though. I really liked this episode a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. That's good. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, nobody else. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now looking back at it, we talked about banana flavors for way to, like that was it. I, I Sometimes I feel like I feel like this is our first podcast. <laughs> Really? I loved it. No, it's good. It's, no, no. There's, it's. It's fine. <laughs> every artist has like flop albums, you know? I was just watching a TikToker talk about this. Like every artist has their flop albums. It's okay. Not every episode has to be perfect. It really doesn't. We're in our flop era. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, it's, it's fine. Maybe it's like an artist that thinks they put out a banger and it doesn't do well. Maybe that's what I feel about this this episode. And you know what? It's easier for us because it's just an episode. I like it. It's not a whole album that we're working it's on. It's different. It's different. Yeah. There's not much pressure. And then they were just turning on a camera and just posting. Mm. You know? Who's, who cares? All right. Enough with the inspirational video. Yeah, right. Is this going on Patreon? <laughs> Probably. All right, all right. Let's close it out. Yeah, all, right, all, right. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We love you. And um, oh, yeah. The Patreon. We also do unwind. So we keep these cameras rolling. Keep hanging out. So you get an extended cut of this. Yeah, bonus episodes. Uh -huh. We got high and drawing episodes. All of it. Patreon.com. So I say in heat. As always, make sure to buy the best coffee in the world, mm. Cromoda at Cromoda.com. We got so many flavors out. We got blueberry pancake Ooh, oh, as one of our chip. new flavors. And we got, it's not new, sorry, it's been out, but like it's one of our uh, like latest flavors. We also have canned cold brew, which is unbelievable. Again, Cromoda.com to check that out. And of course, you can check out these episodes every Monday if you want to listen to the audio form of these podcasts. If you're on your way to work, you're working out, uh, doing anything active. We post on podcast platforms. And then on Tuesdays, we post a video form of these episodes on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Zane and Heath, where you could watch and listen at the same time. Um, all right. Well, we love you guys, and we will see you soon on Wine. Bye. Peace and blessings, y'all. Peace.